Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Alia Batrusha binti Amran from TSL B1. Uh, in this video, I will be presenting the topic branches of philosophy. So in general, there are four branches of philosophy that we will discover from this topic. The first one is ontology. It is a philosophical study about the existence or being of the things or livings in reality. Here, the experts, they will study about how the things exist in the first place in our reality life. The next one is epistemology, a philosophical study that focuses on the knowledge. The third one is axiology, a philosophical study that questions the value of matters. Uh, here, the philosopher uh, or the follower will discover about the subjectivity for the value of the matters. And the last one is logic, a philosophical study of organizing and constructing valid re reasonings. Here, the aim of logic philosophy is to guide the follower uh, to identify the correct or incorrect inferences. The first uh, philosophy is ontology. Ontology is a philosophical study that originates from Greek. It studies the existence of a particular matter, which concludes the beginning of how the matter exists in reality. Uh, let's take an example of water. So here, water, we can get water from every source in, uh, in this world. But how does water exist? First, water exists from the combination of molecular hydrogen and oxygen. Here, through ontology philosophy, we will be able to discover how does molecular hydrogen and oxygen exist. And that is how the step-by-step -step of how to know the origins of water. The next one is epistemology. The word epistemology comes from Greek, where episteme is knowledge and logos is either word, speech, or principle. Uh, here, it study about the, uh, this study is related to the origin, characteristics, and types of knowledge. It means that whatever that we will uh, discover from this topic, from epistemology, only revolves around knowledge. It focuses on the methods used in gaining knowledge and the validity of the knowledge itself. Uh, from epistemology, also we will be able to confirm the information that we uh, receive and also we will be able to know if the information is correct or falsely made. The important aspect from epistemology is knowledge sources. So the first one is revelation from the Almighty God, or in Malay, we can call it as Wahyu. Uh, in Islam, uh, the revelation from Almighty God is uh, our, our Quran and Hadith. The second one is scientific research. Scientific research is made to confirm anything by science. For example, COVID vaccines. In order for us to know the validity of the vaccines or how to cure uh, COVID uh, disease, so we we'll, uh, they made scientific research of the COVID vaccines to know the if it is right for us to use and so on. The third one is opinions by the experts in the field. Whenever we have any doubts or question that we need to know about the product or any uh, anything, we need to ask uh, the experts in the field because they know better than us. So we, what we can ask is we can ask for their opinions, their thoughts, their recommendation if it is if it is recommended or not, and and if it is not, then what are the alternatives that we can uh, take? instead of the product. The fourth one is our own experience or other people's experience. So here we gain our experience through five senses. First one is to see, touch, taste, smell, and hear. So from these five senses, we will be able to experience something 
uh, in the first hand, on our first hand. The fifth one is intuition, or we can call it as hunch, gerak hati. Through our intuition, we will be able to know if, if it is right to accept the knowledge or not. And the last one is logical thinking, where we make connection between two different things to make this link work. Different from critical thinking that we usually heard of is critical thinking is about making sure this two link uh, is legitimate. But here we need to know if it is, if this two points are connecting. The third one is axiology, where the word axiology originates from Greek. Axion means value, and the logos uh, is either word, speech, and principle. Through axiology, it inquires the classification of the value. We will be able to distinguish the value of the things or livings. Axiology can be classified into two aspects, ethics and aesthetics. Ethics is a study about the moral principle that will influence the attitude of a human being. In ethics, there are three foundations. The first one, the basic one, is meta-ethics, where we'll, we will be able to know the concept and the nature of the ethical terms. The second one, the next step, is normative ethics, where it will determine the moral standard that will regulate right or wrong conduct. The third one, the most important one, is applied ethics. It is an application of ethics in a real-life situation. Usually, in this real-life situation, they will give us any issue that is controversial, such as abortion, animal rights, and war. Because here we can see that some people, they will ignore ethics in order to resolve this kind of problem. So, it is important for us to see, to observe how does the person think through ethics. And the second aspect of axiology as, as, is aesthetics. It studies the concept of beauty and artistic taste. Through aesthetic, work of art will be interpreted and evaluated to determine the value of art. People with lesser sense of aesthetics will not be able to see the real value of the work of art. So we can look at this situation in art gallery. The people who can value aesthetic, they know how much, how big does the work of art valuable, or how valuable it is. But people who will just go to the art gallery for jalan-jalan uh, they will not they are not able to see it uh, in, a, in different aspects. The fourth one, the last one, is logic. Logic, it explains about the relationship between the idea, the main one, and the reasonings given to support the idea. Here, true logic, the important one is reasonings because the reasoning given is the one that will convince the people to accept the idea. Uh, through logic, they have two types, inductive logic and deductive logic. Inductive logic is a process of reasoning which begins from the specific details. We collect specific details, the smaller details, to make a general main conclusion. As for deductive logic, it is a process of reasoning that begins from the main big conclusion and then we will divide them into sev several smaller groups or examples to obtain the specific details. And I guess that is all for me. The hot question that you can answer is, imagine yourself as a teacher, which philosophy would you stick to in order to become an excellent teacher? State your opinions. And I guess that is all for my presentation. If you have any question, you can ask me or Dr. Kamarudin. And thank you.